Stock. 12 to 1 on to win this game, but 9 to 1 against to win the tournament, and now favourite to win the top half of the draw. But we've seen him in that position a couple of times recently. He was in that position in the Grand Slam of Darts and bowed out early. He's found all sorts of ways to lose matches. He's contrived to throw away winning positions. You would not want him walking your dog, Wayne, would you? He cannot hold on to a lead. I like that. Only my wife and I walk Toby anyway. Ziarko, geeing himself up. 500 to 1. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. First you want to add a couple of quid on? Let us know. At Sky Sports Darts on Twitter. Well, Simon Whitlock has been beaten in two world finals 2008, 2010. So he knows how to get there. Can he get it done? That's the thing. He's found himself in that top half that you've already alluded to, Rod, that is supposedly the easiest half of the draw. 26. Well, Whitlock is the world ranked number four. You might need to do a bit better than that, though. Simon Whitlock has been practicing for the last four hours for a good start. Wow. And you go and do that, it, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, it'd be fair to say that Simon Whitlock has failed to settle with the first six darts and he finds it all so funny. He won't find it funny if it continues for the whole set, believe me. Well, even after that mishmash of mediocrity, he's still only 170 behind here, so... If he does find the red bit a couple of times, he'll be right on Kamula's tail. Sixth. Big if at the moment. One or two bad darts at the start of a match. Okay, you think not, not to worry. Oh, Yarko's shaking his head now. Whitlock fans. Yes. Wow. Is it a treble? That's better, Simon. He was saying earlier this week that he was a bit miffed that no one was tipping him this year in the tournament. No one fancied him, really. Well, he, he was annoyed at that. He was, he was miffed. But in the year he got to the final, only that darting sage Eric Bristow tipped him before the tournament at huge odds. OK, if Simon was annoyed, I, I'm tipping you to win this, Simon. you require 114. Incredibly, Simon Whitlock is on 170. 40. Simon, you require 170. To no avail. 96. We've only had one full championship. Terry 70. Jenkins got it in his first round loss. Double 16. Double eight. He wires both of them. Simon, well, if Simon Whitlock does win this leg, it doesn't bode well for Yarko because Simon has had a bit of a stinker. Double eight. Game show on the first leg. Simon Whitlock. Second leg. Simon first leg. First. To the beard to Game be feared. On. the end there an oasis of skill following a desert of dross <laughs> and he continues to drink from the oasis good reply Some oohs and ahs. Who's thinking about the nine data? Whenever there's a, 
a maximum or a 177, 171 at the start of a leg. You will never see a 167. I would have thought at the start of a leg of 501. The three 167s are equate to a nine data. Will that ever be seen on TV? No, of course it won't. Now you need to go to a Wayne Mardle exhibition for that kind of carry on. Correct. Oh, needs to get up. No. Well, Simon Whitlock's start was a horror story, wasn't it? Yeah, he nicked that first leg in 21 darts. He's now bossing this one. He was hunting down the 57. Elsewhere may have been better. Uh, in control of this leg. Well, he was in control. Like I said, he was in control of this leg. Brilliant visit from Yarko. Double 17. 68. Yarko, you require 62. What sort of way is that to go? If he'd hit the double 17, it'd have been genius, but turned out to be lunacy. Dub, double 10 left. Double 5. We're seeing some idiosyncratic ways of going out. 52. The 84. Simon, you I, I, I can understand he wanted one da a double. If he hits the 25. It leaves 59, 19 for tops. But, but, the whole point of it is to leave a double you like. Is it not? Double 17? Does, does he like that double? I, I'm assuming not. He likes double four. He loves double four. It's in the legend now. 2 0 to Whitlock. Top half of the draw will feature Michael Smith, Peter Wright, Robert Thornton, Richie Burnett, Ian White, Kevin Painter, the winner of this match and the winner of tonight's tussle between Wes Newton and John Park. Yarko needs to make something happen already. That's not enough. Simon, the 2012 European champion. His only major to date. To register 140. Six, That's what I get for calling him a big scorer. Well, he is normally a very heavy hitter, we know that. When he arrived well, on the scene, Bolton. really, in the PDC scene at any rate, in the 2010 final, he earned a reputation for ton plus finishing that was. Seconds and on. That leaves double sixteen. Super punch of the air. Should settle Yarko down. Made a hash of the first leg, as we know. But Simon, averaging seventy-six, really does have to liven up. Because averaging that, you will be found out and beat. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, it's Whitlock's fifth PDC uh, World Championship, and he's never failed to reach round three or beyond. But he will not be going far beyond round three, if at all, if he continues to average 70 odd. 57.
raises the lip there from Yarko. Three well thrown darts, yet none of them in their intended target. That can happen. Well, this match, it'd be fair to say, it's yet to ignite. More like no burner than slow burner. We've been treated to a darting feast throughout the duration of the ten days this day 10 of the world championship and i've got to say that this is probably the poorest start that we've been that we've seen i'm sure it will liven up well i'm not sure actually i'm just kind of hoping you have your personal guarantee worthless though it may be 84 left for whitlock Will he go bull, double 17 again? 100. Yes, he will. Simon will require 84. Tops. 14. Brilliant way to go. It's not, is it? <laughs> Look, I know that, I know that. <laughs> Camilla's on 230, so why not? 60 for 24. Tops, double two tops. Is that just as ludicrous? Tops for the set now. Simon Whitlock finds himself a set up, averaging 77. Many a player have lost with a ton plus, but who cares? He finds it all very amusing. He would do when you won your up. Join us after the break to see how this pans out.